Well, some breaking news coming in more than 24 hours later. There is still no change in the situation in Chumar. Sources in the Ministry of Defence say that they will not seek another flag meeting. The troops have occupied certain dominant positions and the Indian troops have encircled them. My colleague Jugal Parohit now joins me on the phone line for more. Jugal, clearly it appears that even after the strong message that was sent out by uh, the Chinese president and the Indian prime minister on a resolution to the border dispute, there seems to be actually nothing of that that's translated on the ground. That's absolutely correct, Rishika. Nothing really has changed on the ground ever since uh, the prime minister and the president of China spoke. And now we can say that after the Chinese president also has left. In fact, what is of extreme significance in, uh, in this situation is this uh, unequivocal stand which has been taken by the Indian Army that no more flag meetings will be sought right. uh, from, from our side on this, which essentially means that the last two flag meetings which took place because Indian side wanted it now will not take place anymore unless the Chinese ask for it. In fact, the thinking within the NOD now is that it's now for the Chinese who have intruded with a battalion plus strength into the Indian held area in, in an area which uh, incidentally is a place where we have actually delineated and understood borders between right. the two sides. Now that the Chinese have intruded, it's for them to go back. India is ready to play the waiting game and that is what we are doing, even in terms of administration and support. We have much better place than Chinese is what the MOD uh, is trying to tell us. So yes, the situation doesn't change. And the most significant part, India will not seek a flag meeting. It's for China to now... Well, absolutely. It, it appears that India has taken, uh, you know, an emboldened stance when it comes to repeated Chinese incursions along the line of actual control. Uh, the MOD sources confirming there to Jugal that India will in fact not seek... Uh, another meeting has uh, has the Indian Army at all called for more reinforcements than Jugal? Well, Rishika, uh, in, in terms of number strength, uh, the Indian side is at least now for projecting uh, that it can very easily mobilize, uh, mobilize, uh, I beg your pardon, almost uh, uh, 30,000 troops in the area if right. the and all of these troops are all well acclimatized troops. So number isn't really a problem. Yes, if the Chinese side increases its numbers on the ground, the Indians will do it. That's what has happened according to what I understand. Right. But now essentially the game is that of the waiting game as when the Chinese decide to withdraw. Well, absolutely. As Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Narendra Modi in fact stressed on the need for clarification along the line of actual control for a demarcation and delineation, none of those strong messages that were exchanged have actually translated into anything on the ground. Thanks, Jugal, for joining us with that update. We're going to continue to track developments from the line of actual control.